Welcome to Cornell Pump. This is uh, Ron here. I'm a pump mechanic for Cornell. Uh, today our procedure is going to be adjusting the running clearance on a 6819 mining pump. And I got a, I'll do a close up of uh, the actual uh, items note. And it shows here the adjusting running clearance is between 20 and 30 thousandths between the impeller and the wear plate. And up here is, is the item description of the pump that we're actually working on. These are the, some of the tools that you'll be needing to do this task today. You need inch and a quarter deep well, half inch drive, a 15 16 deep well, half inch drive, an inch and a quarter combination wrench, a 15 16 combination wrench, and a half inch drive impact. So, and also you're gonna need a feeler gauge that has a 20 thousandths and a 30 thousandths feeler gauge on it. First off, what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna run, these are called adjustment bushings. We're gonna adjust the adjustment bushings all the way into where it pushes the, in, the wear plate up against the impeller. What you, want, what you actually want to happen is you want the wear plate to go up, up tight against the impeller so it won't turn. That way it ensures that you're in there square. Run all four of them in. Run them in there so they're tight. And you reach in here and you try to turn the impeller. It's still turning, so we're still not in there all the way. We need to adjust some more. Now the impeller will not turn. That means that the wear plate is all the way tied up against there. So our next step is gonna be, we're gonna take a Sharpie here. So we're gonna mark a point on the adjustment bushing. And we're gonna mark that point on the, on the suction cover. So you gotta mark on the point and mark on the suction cover. We're gonna do that to all four of them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that as a reference point on how far we're gonna back out the adjustment bushing. So what we're now gonna do is loosen these up and we're gonna run into our mark and we're gonna back them out four. We're gonna back out four points. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna do that on all four of them. backing it out four points. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your inch and a quarter wrench and your 15th, 16th socket and you're gonna put this wrench on the adjustment bush, bushing, lining that point up with your mark on the back plate. And then you're gonna tighten it. Now the next thing you're going to do is check to make sure the pump will turn and the pump's turning. And then you're going to take your 20,000 feeler gauge and make sure it goes in there. And it goes in all the way around. That's your minimum clearance is 20 thousandths. And then you're going to come up and you're going to pull up your 30 thousandths and that's your maximum. So you take your 30 thousandths and you're going to run it in there and it shouldn't go. See how it's not going in? That's what you want. You don't want that to go in. This one here is a little loose, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring it in just a little bit. We're 
gonna take it in a half a turn at a time. Still needs to come in a little bit more, so we're going to keep adjusting it till that thirty thousandths will barely go in there. Run it down there tight again. Check it, and there we go. We're now thirty won't go, thirty won't go, and we, then once you find once you finally get everything adjusted, tighten it. Make sure everything's tightened down, and then before you're done, you want to double check to make sure the twenty clears. So you get your 20 thousandths feeler out, feeler gauge out, and you run it in there, and you want it no restriction. You want that just go smoothly around there. And another thing is, is you want to make sure that the impeller turns freely by hand. And another, another key thing is to make sure before you start this procedure that your back vein clearance and between your impeller and your back plate is correct too. And that's how we adjust the wear plate. Good?